I shall discuss on the last type that is type 4. Uh, non exact differential equation is to be converted into exact differential equation. In this case, what we do, we consider m x comma y dx plus n x comma y it is dy equal to 0. Here del m y del y is not equal to del m y del x implies non exact ODE, non exact ODE, then the integrated factor for what purpose we consider the integrating factor? We have to convert non exact into exact differential equation by multiplying the integrating factor to the given differential equation so that it becomes exact. Afterwards, the solution according to exact differential equation procedure you can apply and then carry out the steps as explained in the exact differential equation. That is integrating factor is given by I f that is equal to e to the power minus f of y dy when, when del m divided by del y minus del n divided by del x multiplied by 1 by m. This is function of y alone. This is what the <coughs> uh, conversion of non-exact into exact differential equation. Then equation 1, if you call this as equation 1, <coughs> 1 into if uh, becomes exact. 1 into integrating factor becomes exact differential equation. <coughs> Based on this, let me take an example that is problem to be solved here. Solve that is 3 into x square y to the power of 4 plus 2xy that is dx and plus solve 2x cube y cube minus <coughs> xy that is 2x cube y, y cube minus x square that is dx dy equal to 0. What, what are our values of m and n in this case? In the solution let m is equal to that is m x comma y it is 3x square y to the power of 4 plus of 2xy and this implies del m by del y is equal to del m by del y means x is constant we have to differentiate with respect to y only that is 12 x square y to the power of 3 and plus of 2 times x is that and n n x comma y that is equal to 2 times x cube y cube minus x square that is del n by <coughs> del n by del x is equal to with respect to x you are going to take that should be 6 x square and y cube with respect to x you are doing that is minus of 2x then these two values are not same that means del m by del y is not equal to it is del m by del x that is non exact differential equation non exact ODE then we consider the difference del m by del y minus del m by del x equal to you take the difference between these two terms that is 6 x square sorry 12 it is x square y cube 12 x square y cube and minus uh, that is plus 2 x okay and then minus of it is 6 x square y cube and minus minus plus it is 2x. Then 
what we have to do we have to simplify here 12 minus 6 that is equal to 6 x square y cube and plus 2x and then plus 2x this becomes totally 4x that means 6 x square y cube and here 2x plus 2x becomes 4x then you have to see that this difference what you have taken is going to be divided by either this term or this term but we have defined that is 1 by m exactly it is not matching but in the case of m if you take y common and uh, one coefficient constant as 2 if you take common then we can accommodate uh, the term to be uh, written in the denominator so that it gives function of y alone that we can do then let m is equal to this is 3x square and y to the power of 4 and plus of 2xy gives and here it is it is giving 2 if you take outside uh, that is 3 should be x square and then y cube plus 2x you are getting then m is equal to 3x square y to the power of 4 here plus 2xy if you take y common then you will be getting it is 3x square y cube and plus of it is 2x so exactly this term is going to match so that we can divide we can divide this term uh, uh, by comparing with the procedure what it is explained in the case of conversion of non-exact into exact differential equation therefore you consider according to this term Let 1 by m into del m by del y minus of it is del m by it is del x is equal to 1 by m 1 by m we are taking so 3 x square this must be m is equal to this one 1 by m so uh, 1 divided by y into y into 3 x square y cube and plus of 2x and in the numerator this is the difference between these two we have already taken that is 2 into 2 into 3 x square it is y cube and plus of it is 2x then here the numerator with this coefficient is same in the denominator and you are getting it as 2 by y this I will call it as function of y what do you mean by function of y it is function in the absence of x therefore you need to calculate uh, the integrating factor using this function the corresponding integrating factor integrating factor i f equal to e to the power minus f of y it is d1 so that e to the power minus integral it is 2 by y d1 e to the power minus of it is log of that is 2 times log of log of y is that because 1 by y d y is equal to integration is log y therefore finally you are getting this x square y to the power of 4 and then 2xy ok then what you are getting you have to multiply the integrating factor to the differential equation so that it becomes exact differential equation ok then uh, further simplification that, that gives e to the power log of y to the power minus of 2 that is y to the power minus of 2 means that must be 2 by y with minus sign y to the power minus 2 that becomes minus 1 by it is y square sorry y to the power minus 2 that becomes 
that is equal to y to the power minus 2 with e to the power log. Therefore, y to the power minus 2 you can take it as 1 by y square. Then 1 into i f gives 1 into integrating factor gives the non exact differential equation will be taken as exact differential equation. So, 1 into i of means that is m value is this and n value is this one, right? 1 by y square you have to multiply. So, 1 by y square this one 3 into x square and y to the power 4 plus of 2 x y and then divided by it is y square and it is to be taken with the t x then plus of it is 2 x cube by y y cube and minus of x square minus of x square and this is also divided by y square and then dy equal to 0. Then you simplify this and you write it is said to be exact differential equation. Then 3x square y to the power of 4 means 3x square it is y square and plus of 2 x divided by y and it is dx and plus of it is y square gets cancelled and 2 times x cube and then uh, 2 times x cube that is y square cancels y remains and minus of x square divided by y square should be d1 equal to 0 that is 2 into x divided by y. Now what is del m by del y in this case? Del m by del y is equal to that is 6y 6y and minus of that is 2 times y to the power minus 1 that is minus 2x divided by y square you are getting. Then del n by del x, del n by del x gives with respect to x that is 6 x square and here also x square, 6 x square y and minus with respect to x that is 2 x divided by it is y square that is dy sorry del m by del x that is 2 minus 2 x divided by y square. You can see that both the values are same. Then this step, this is equation number 2. If we call equation 2 is said to be exact. Exact ODE. When once it is said to be exact ODE, then according to exact differential equation, we can solve. What is that exact differential equation solution? You have to integrate both the terms treating the first term y as constant and second term terms free from x. That is what you have to do that. Now let us see how this uh, uh, differential equation which is converted to exact and then it gives solution. Solution is given by solution is given by integration that is 3 x square y square plus 2 times x by y it is dx here you have to treat y as here you have to treat y as constant and plus of integration that is terms free from x here also x is there here also x is there you have to write 0 that is dy is equal to constant. Then you have to integrate only with respect to x that is x cube uh, 3 cancels and y square and x square by 2 2 cancels x square by y plus of c1 uh, equal to c and finally you can write x cube y square and plus of 
x square by y is equal to a. You can take like this, where a is equal to c minus c1. That is what the constant of integration you can put. You can club both the constants and uh, you can put it as that is a is equal to c minus c1. Like this, uh, four methods we have discussed are to convert non-exact differential equation into exact differential equation by finding the integrating factor. So, by finding the integrating factor means when, when we verify the condition that is necessary condition del m by del y uh, is not equal to del n by del x then we consider the problem comes in uh, which type there are uh, four types we have discussed so far that is in the type 1 integrating factor how to calculate in the type 2 uh, how to calculate the integrating factor type, uh, type 3 how to calculate that one and in type 4 also we have discussed how to calculate the integrating factor. Now, uh, we will move on to the next uh, discussion that is Bernoulli's uh, nonlinear differential equation, but you need to know what is linear and nonlinear differential equation. So, uh, as per the syllabus, you have to discuss the next topic is Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation that goes like this. Bernoulli's nonlinear ODD. So, what is the meaning of linear and what is the meaning of nonlinear differential equation? First of all, you would you uh, need to know what is the meaning of linear differential equation and how it is going to be appeared and how it is to be solved. Linear differential equation uh, is one in which the dependent variable suppose you keep it as y, y is a function of x, the dependent variable y and its differential coefficient may be with respect to x where x is independent variable must occur only with first degree and they should not be multiplied together. This is called linear differential equation. The standard form of linear because before non-linear you need to know details about linear because Bernoulli's nonlinear will be reduced to the linear and then the corresponding uh, solution procedure we are going to apply. Then, so linear differential equation, first of all you would like to know. Linear or linear? What is this linear differential equation? It is a big form dy by dx plus p of x into y equal to q of x. This is the standard form of linear differential equation. This is p of x and this is linear in y because the dependent variable in this case dy by dx means this is y is a function of x, the differential coefficient always in the derivatives, the numerator symbol will be the dependent variable and denominator symbol will be the independent variable. Therefore, the dependent variable and its differential coefficient must occur only with first degree. This is degree 1 and dependent variable is 1, both must occur with first degree and they should not be multiplied together. This is called linear differential equation and when this linear differential equation is there, how to solve this linear differential equation? So, you here you need to find the integrating factor in a uh, uh, in a similar manner as you have discussed in the previous one, ok. So, find the integrating factor
integrating factor as i r that is equal to e to the power p of x into dx. Here the coefficient of y you have to take it as p of x and that is to be taken as a uh, function under the integral sign in the exponential power that is integrating factor. Then a uh, solution after finding the integrating factor solution of 1 is given by that is y into integrating factor that means dependent variable into integrating factor dependent variable into integrating factor equal to integration of that is right side function whatever it is that into integrating factor dx and plus of constant this is the solution suppose y into dy if it occurs then you convert that in the form of dx by dy in some problems it is possible to rearrange like that then you need to calculate the integrating factor in a now using this p of x dx instead you have to write that is p of y into dy then we will solve in the linear differential equation one problem then to understand the linear differential equation what is the integrating factor and how this solution comes later we shall move on to a study of uh, non-linear differential equation as per the syllabus of VTU that is non-linear Bernoulli's differential equation. For example, in the case of linear differential equation that is solve that is 2 into y minus 4x square and dx plus solve x into dy that is equal to 0. 2 into y minus 4x square into dx plus x into dy equal to 0. This is the value of first coefficient that is dx and another one is x into dy is there. Here uh, dy is not multiplied by the dependent variable y. Then we consider this as linear differential equation because the derivative is having the degree 1 and the dependent variable is also having the degree 1. Therefore, we call it as uh, uh, it may be in the form of dy by dx because x into dy is there, there is no question of y into dy. Then uh, we, we will rearrange, rearranging as otherwise dividing by dx throughout that is 2 into y minus 4 x square it is plus of that is x into dy by it is dx equal to 0. So, I will write in the reverse order x into dy by dx and plus of it is 2 into y minus 4 x square equal to 0. Now, you make it as dy by dx it is free from the multiplication of the variable. Therefore, dividing by x gives us dy by dx, dy by dx plus of plus of it is 2 into y minus 4 x square all divided by x and that is equal to 0. Then you need to consider the linear differential equation according to this the right side term that is q of x indicates function of x alone right side value this is function of x alone so it should be free from y therefore we consider this uh, term minus 4 x square multiplied by 2 divided by x we will write this term to the rhs okay so rearranging that term in in the required standard form of linear differential equation that is dy by dx uh, plus so it is 2 by x into y if you take this 2 inside and split the terms minus of 8 that is x square divided by x equal to 0 dy by dx 
plus of 2 by x into y equal to that is 8 x is that x square by x means that is x is that. So, this is exactly matching the standard form of linear differential equation dy by dx plus p of x into y this is equal to it is p of x. So, which is <coughs> which is a linear which is a linear ODE which is a linear ODE then what is the next step you have to find out the integrating factor. Now, we, we need to solve this differential equation, linear differential equation. That means, we have to find the integrating factor and then take the step as explained in the linear differential equation solution procedure. Then, integrating factor that is i of is equal to integrated integration that is p of x into dx. Therefore, e to the power integral this is 2 by x and dx this is equal to e to the power it is 2 log x therefore finally you can take it as x square because e to the power 2 log x is e to the power log x square and e to the power log x square is nothing but x square then you need to write the solution for this differential equation after the calculation of integrating factor like this then solution is given by solution is given by y that is dependent variable into i of integration q of x into i of that is dx and plus of constant then y into that is x square and equal to should be right side term is 8x into x square dx and plus constant that is x square into y is equal to 8 x to the power of 4 by 4 because x into x square is x cube integration gives us x to the power of 4 divided by 4 therefore plus of constant then final solution that is 4 to the 8 then final solution will be x square y minus of 8 uh, sorry 8 by 4 it is 2 x to the power of 4 equal to constant this is the final solution we call it as general solution of this uh, linear differential equation okay keeping this idea uh, we will uh, go to the uh, Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation solution by reducing that nonlinear into linear. What is the meaning of nonlinear? Nonlinear means dependent variable and its derivative uh, may, may not occur with first degree and even another condition is also going to fail. But that means which is not going to support the dependent variable and its derivative must occur only with first degree and they should not be multiplied together. We call it as linear differential equation otherwise it is non-linear. Then how this Bernoulli's differential equation plays a major role let us verify uh, the solution conversion of this non-linear into linear and then solution procedure. The next discussion is Bernoulli's non-linear Bernoulli's nonlinear ODE, that is also ODE, Bernoulli's nonlinear ordinary differential equation. It is of the form, it is of the form dy by dx and plus of p of x into y is equal to q of x into, it is y to the power n is there. So, how this nonlinear differential equation is to be uh, further analyzed by converting this into linear differential equation. Okay. The why it is nonlinear differential equation? Because dependent variable y uh, is not appeared with first degree. Therefore, 
it is not linear, it may be non-linear differential equation. It is only for this one, then this non-linear Holding E will be reduced to the linear form to the linear holding E by, by the removal of this dependent variable because dependent variable has got more than first degree, hence it is not a linear differential equation. Then you need to remove that term from the right side and you have to make it as function of x alone. That is function of x alone means it is to be multiplied with respect to uh, some constant but not the variable that to dependent variable that is to be removed from the RHS. Then dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to p of x into y to the power n. Yeah, that will be reduced to the linear form by dividing completely this y to the power n. Therefore, I take the division of y to the power n throughout this differential equation then I will be able to get that is y to the power minus n that should be dy by it is dx and plus saw p of x and it is y divided by it is y to the power n is equal to that should be q of x. First of all you have to remove this y to the power n which is representing as non-linearity and then you have to convert this non-linear differential equation into linear differential equation. Therefore, y to the power minus n dy by dx plus p of x into y divided by y to the power n is equal to qx. Now, further simplification, here also this is to be removed. Let us uh, take like this, y to the power minus n dy, it is dx and plus of p of x and then y to the power that is 1 minus n that is equal to q of x. So, right side should be a function of x alone and uh, it is free from the dependent variable. In this case, the dependent variable is y whereas independent variable is x. Then you need to remove here also that is y to the power minus n and then derivative you have to leave alone. Maybe constant will be uh, if it is coming in the problem and then you can leave it as it is. Okay. y to the power minus n dy by dx is there. Now you need to take some substitution. This is to be taken as substitution. y to the power 1 minus n is equal to p. Then you have to take the differentiation of this. What is the differentiation on both sides? Accordingly, left side is y and right side is p. Therefore, 1 minus n into y to the power 1 minus n minus 1 it is dy and this is equal to dt. So, minus 1 plus 1 will, will be cancelled and 1 minus n that should be y to the power minus n dy equal to dt. Otherwise, that is y to the power minus n dy equal to dt divided by that is 1 minus n. So, you can replace this quantity y to the power minus n and dy together with this that is dt divided by 1 minus n. That means dependent variable and its derivative. When you have taken this differentiation, it is to be replaced along with the product, along with the coefficient of this that is y to the power minus n. Let us uh, uh, simplify this by making this selected substitution that should be uh, dt divided by it is dx 1 divided by 1 minus n 1 divided by 1 minus n and plus of it is p of x into p that is equal to q of x. Therefore, earlier your problem was in terms of x and y. Now, the problem is in terms of that is or t and x. Therefore, t is a function of x. 
here x is the independent variable and t is the dependent variable therefore dt by dx uh, even we can uh, consider this as uh, with the removal of this dt by dx dt by dx and plus of 1 minus n that is into p of x multiplied by the dependent variable that is 1 minus n into it is q of x then what is this term to be taken that should be dt by dx plus of 1 minus n dt divided by it is dx and plus this is p of x and you can take it as it is q of uh, sorry this is p1 of x you can write p1 of x into t equal to this is q1 of x where this differential equation is said to be non-exact uh, in the form of non-exact how you discussed to convert into the exact form here also you are, you are going to take that a uh, non-linear differential equation into linear differential equation so many of the engineering problems will take the application of this uh, in order to convert the non-linear differential equation into linear differential equation using the Bernoulli concept what is what is that Bernoulli concept by taking proper substitution and then you will be able to reduce the non-linear differential equation into linear differential equation so dt by dx plus p p1 of x into t is equal to q1 of x what is your integrating factor in this therefore integrating factor you can consider exponential to the power integration that is p1 of x into dx so whatever the integrating factor you are getting then you can take this integrating factor to write the final solution of the nonlinear differential equation in this way uh, dependent variable here in this case is t that is into i f you can write in the left side and right side whatever the function on the right side that should be q1 of x into i f and then it is dx and plus of constant this is the solution procedure where you can write the integrating factor calculation which helps in order to convert non-linear differential equation into linear differential equation so based on this information we need to take the problem and then how this solution procedure helps us in conversion of non-linear into linear form i shall take a, one example on this and then how this procedure will approve this concept let me take it solve the problem is like this solve So x into dy dx plus of y equal to x cube into y to the power 6 is that. This is said to be non-linear differential equation where we need to rewrite the differential equation. Then this uh, linear non-linear differential equation is to be made as linear differential equation then you need to convert or you need to, you need to remove this dependent variable which is not of first degree okay first you need to co convert this in terms of linear differential equation what is the first step you have to apply here you have to remove x and here you have to remove y therefore in the solution divide throughout by x into this is y to the power 6 is there <coughs> x into y to the power 6 you have to divide and then you will be getting y to the power minus 6 it is divided by dx plus of y divided by x into y to the power 6 and uh, right side that is x cube divided by x remains and y to the power 6 divided by y to the power 6 is there so that 
uh, y to the power minus six and divide by dx and plus solve that is y to the power minus five. Okay, y to the power minus five into one by x equal to that is x cancels and y to the power six cancels, leaving the term as only x square. Then y to the power six with minus it is divided by dx plus of one by x. It is p of x and then that is y to the power minus five equal to x square. Then here you need to take the substitution. Put y to the power minus five equal to t. That should be minus five into y to the power minus six. That is minus five. Y to the power minus minus six into dy equal to dt. Then you can substitute here y to the power minus six into dy uh, along with minus five. Otherwise, y to the power minus six dy. Equal to dt divided by minus five. Then this will be uh, on replacement of this. That is uh, one divided by minus five. One divided by minus five dt by dx. One divided by minus five dt by dx plus of one by x into t. That is equal to x square then dt by dx we can remove this minus 5 minus plus of this is multiply power by 5 5 divided by x into t is equal to 5 x square so this is exactly uh, dy by dx otherwise dt by dx plus p of x into t is equal to p of x. This is the standard form. Here, p of x we can consider as phi by x is that. Then, I have integrating factor. You are, you are taking this integrating factor as e to the power integration. It is phi by x dx should be e to the power 5 times it is log x. This is x to the power 5. You are converting this non-linear into linear like this. Then integrating factor we are able to get uh, the value as x to the power of 5. Now this is your uh, reference differential equation which is said to be linear because linearly dependent variable t. Then well, the solution of this linear differential equation, you need to take the multiplication of this integrating factor to the dependent variable and you need to write the solution. Solution of, solution of uh, equation 2, you can take this as equation 2, T is given by, that is P into integrating factor that is phi by x that means x to the power of phi x to the power of phi and equal to that is right side what is that value phi into x square into that is x to the power of phi dx and plus constant should be uh, this is on the integration x to the power 7 it is y by 8 and x to the power 8 plus of constant that is in place of t t what what is the value of t you have taken that is t is equal to y to the power minus 5 that is y to the power minus 5 into x to the power of 5 uh, it is it is to be taken because t was selected as dependent variable and it is to be written back in the form of same given symbols that is x to the power of 5 divided by y to the power of 5 is equal to it is 5 by 8 and x to the power 8 and plus constant. This is the solution of Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation. Now, another problem also let me take uh, how this uh, uh, nonlinear differential equation can be converted to linear where 
uh, according to Bernoulli's uh, procedure, this Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation can be reduced to the linear form. Another uh, example I will take. Solve xy into 1 plus x into y square, it is dy by dx equal to 1. You rearrange all these terms, leaving this dy by dx alone separately, then uh, how you are going to write p of x and how you are going to write q of x on the right side according to the standard form. Let me uh, take this problem by the division of this coefficient that is dy by dx. Therefore, uh, in the solution we rewrite the equation. Rewriting ODE as <coughs> that is dy by dx equal to 1 divided by should be xy into 1 plus x into y square. This is 1 divided by. Uh, this is one form that is dy by dx like this you can write and otherwise uh, if you write dy by dx separately and xy here xy plus 1 that is multiplied by dy by dx and how this is going to be separated and we can rearrange this in the form of uh, linear differential equation. Okay. Then uh, here xy is multiplied to this one. Instead of that xy into 1 plus x into y square that is x into y square that is dy by dx equal to 1 is there. So, how this is to be taken for uh, conversion of nonlinear into linear form. I shall discuss these things in the next session.